The biggest one is, the question I get all the time is, do you, the emails I get is, do you have shooting drills? Is what I get all the time. Hey coach, do you have a shooting drill? So this is not a shooting drill, but can be used as one and you can develop it and you can change it to match your team, okay? So I need Mateus, I mean Kevin, sorry, going golf. <laughs> I'll take Mateus over Chris and Ben. Orlando? Alright, going golf. Alright. I didn't realize we invited Orlando here. Uh, okay, come on. Uh, one, are you, you playing? One, you playing? Two, Fitzgerald, three. Man is wedding to No. No. Colin, come on, four. TS, five. Come on, TS. That's no, it's fine, it's fine. You don't need to walk through. Molly hiding away, go on Molly, let's go six. Bye. There we go, we do, we do six, we do three, okay? So if you guys want to come this side, it's just easy for you to see it this way. Okay, hey, do three on the coat and the Okay, so nice and simple. All you're going to do is we're going to work on different runs in the final third. Okay, the issue that we have is a lot of our players will just run parallel to everything. Okay, so all we're going to do in here is TS is going to, you're going to put the touch in. TS is going to take off. TS can go, you're going to go in front, in front, you go around, you're going to lay him off, and TS take a touch, and all you do is shoot. Put them on their left hand side for the first ball, okay? So, you, with the runs, okay, all we're doing is this person's taking a, a touch in, this person's going around. The release pass, okay? Uh, Caleb released the pass before the mannequin, I want it in behind the mannequin, okay? So, let's go, demonstration. So there, go on, go on, go on. Come on, get around it. There, there. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Oh, yeah. oh, yes. Oh, yeah. What? Six on, six on, go on. Okay, you three lines. Okay, yeah. three lines. Please. Baseball line. Let's go again. <laughs> Let's go again. <laughs> there, there, and finish. So everybody's seeing something similar to this. Okay, nice and simple. All we're working on is, is the timing of the run, the release, and obviously then you flip side. Okay, so now just uh, do a demonstration. Let's give the ball to uh, Stanley. Okay, Molly now, make your run, standing, same thing, go, go. And then you're gonna release her in behind. So now she's on her strongest foot. Don't fall over, please. Woo! Oh, there you go, banger. Oh, I feel it, That's how you finish. <laughs> so, different types of runs and different types of moves. And now you can change it up. So you can do nice and simple. Okay, so you have the ball, okay. You play me the ball, make the run again, make the run again. I'm gonna play you there, and then you can combine with me, and then I can finish. So you can change the different types of combinations. Any other work with your front two, front three, you can add more lines and more depth. Like I said to you, it depends on your level, and it depends on your player's ability. Some players can only stick to this. Some players you can then build out and put extra mannequins, which we're gonna do in a minute. Do you understand? Okay, next one, let's put um, one more person, just one volunteer. Make equal the lines. All you're gonna do is just stand on the mannequin. And lay the ball off. And run. There we go. So we have a, a person on the mannequin. So now you can make a three drill. Okay, now, biggest thing is, what I try and do is, rather than have a line of like seven kids, okay, is, I'm fortunate enough, I have two goalkeepers, put another goal on the other side, and you have two lines going at the same time. You understand? Two, two sections going and you just tell the kid, rotate between the four rather than having 12 kids in a massive line. So all you're gonna do in here, Caleb, you're gonna play Lynn. Lynn's gonna play, uh, play Malin. Malin's gonna take the touch forward. You go around, you can play him. In, there, in, and then three of you are gonna to go to goal. You understand? You're gonna hold your runs. Obviously, uh, Mr. Linesman here knows, knows best. Referee. <laughs> referee's right. Knows, his, knows best. 
You can do different combinations. We're going to just start nice and easy. Off you go. So there, leg, there. Can you play him? There. Oh, my lead. Just like watching you in a gang or something. Uh, and he try and play first time in behind. Alright, oh, go again. <laughs> there, there, go. TSP in behind. Ah. There. And finish. I thought I was going to play you, TS. Yes. So. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> 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 nice guess, Kevin. Nice guess, Kevin. Wait, just like, Daddy just came What happened? <laughs> you know, if you had a seizure or something, but something happened, Daddy just came So, you can change the type of stuff that you do in here as well. This is not set. It's not set in the movement. We can play the ball across here into the centre forward. Oh, <laughs> I was it's turning around trying to listen. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, so, so, okay. You can play the ball across. You can play it into the centre forward. The centre ball can lay it out wide. The other side. <laughs> there, and we're in. You can change the combinations in here. It really just depends on what you want to do or how or what you are working on. Like I said, it depends on your formation. If you have a target man, then you play with a back to goal. If you have, you play with two centre forwards with two mannequins. You understand? It's a totally different there. So next one here, all you're going to do is you're going to lay, you're going to take the touch in. You're going to go wrap round. You're going to play Lynn. Lynn's going to play you back. And you're going to take a big touch okay. down the line. Yep. You're going to head out ourselves. Take a big touch down the line. Keep on dribbling, keep on dribbling. And then all you're going to do is tuck the ball back. And then Stan is going to finish. You understand? Let's start again. So, this one here, you're taking a big touch in behind the defender. And then you're cutting the ball back. All right, ready? Go. There. There. Okay, you can change it up. I like it. Good, good, good. So try and try and take that big touch in behind. Go there, there, there. Big touch, big touch, Colin. There, and then it's a cut back. There. Yes. Oh. So there, they did something completely different. Okay? <laughs> the first one, the first set. Do you as a coach say to them, hey, no, that's not good enough? Do you turn around and say, hey, that's not what I wanted? No, because it worked. It worked for them. They created it. It worked on it. So that's what you say to them, okay? Fantastic, you did that, but what can you improve on all? What did we kind of ask you to do? Why did you change it, etc., etc.? And then it gets the kids thinking about, okay, Maybe we can do this, this is what we try to do, etc. Like I said, the big, the issue that we have a, a lot in our club is, you look down the line of teams that we have. Okay, look at the amount of teams we have, look about the, the quality of players that we have in the club. Can you name one player, apart from one that plays on Marvin's team, along the whole thing that are a natural centre forward that scores 20 odd goals a year? Rachel Water. It definitely, not for me. So, if you look there, there was probably about two players. Two out of how many how many club teams do we have? A lot of players, a lot of teams. So, it the biggest one in here is trying to develop the runs and trying to get the players to understand what we're trying to do in here. Do you understand? If you can move those two mannequins either side of of, uh, of Lynn. Yeah, not not next to it, just like with a gap in between. Probably right there, probably right there, there and there. And then if you want to, uh, Lynn, you can step out. Actually, let's put Malene in. Yeah. 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 So now, now you can do, now you can do runs across the, the back four or the back three in here. In this sense, we're just doing it with three mannequins. So, can you, you can play the, the ball to lit, uh, put Stanley there. I don't want you to run. Okay. So, all you're trying to do is can you peel away? So can you peel away? Can you change your body shape now? And can you look for something for, for the game to connect? 
understand? So if we're going this side or this way, oh, I'm moving, I'm always moving, and all of a sudden the ball goes to Lynn, and then I can yeah, go on, then go on, go on, go on, go on, play, go on, carry your run, there, there, and we can play. Or can I turn and go? So all you're working on now is that movement across the back line, okay? And different runs. So a lot of things that we see right now is a lot of our players will peel off and they'll run like this, right in front of the defender so they can track the run. Can you encourage your players now, peel away, create some separation, and then bam, in behind them so then they cannot see you. You understand? So Malik, try and do different runs. Well, I had the liberty of you said turning and going as well. Huh? I had the liberty of turning and go. Well. Turn and go, we're going to talk. All right, ready? Let's go. So this is more than the top Yeah. 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 This is where they get to run stuff. This is where they quit running stuff. So Colin's asking, asking, is this more set or more creative? In here is more creative. Malin asks, can I just turn and go? Can I just come in? Can I do what I need to do? Look, there we go, there we go. Great defending. Great defending. Hey, change the middle person. You can always change the middle person out. Somebody else can go in. Go on in, Molly, you go in as the centre forward. Oh, I don't know about that. Alright. Go in and off you go. Yes. And then look, so now you'll take the big touch in. And can he deliver? Oh, no, no communication. So understanding that in here, I've, I haven't given them a set movement. I can just explain to them one, one or two different types of runs, but I haven't told them, hey, you need to play this way, you need to do this and that. This is on their own. They're able to think about it and change it and communicate. So right now you watch them, look. So they're telling each other what to do. Straight away without me saying anything. Go on and play. Play what you see. So once again, you can you can you can adapt it to whatever your environment is. You can adapt this to your centre forwards, your movement, linking in with your midfielders, the first man runs, etc. Okay, so nice and simple in there. Alright, if you want to pull the mannequins out for me. And let's go with Colin T.S. goes two centre backs. Let's put Molly as a right back and uh, Lynn just go for my left back. Two minutes. That way. There we go. Uh, yeah, and you can go as a three. As a three. So, Manin, you're just going to stand, for, you're going to go as a point now. So obviously they'll have pitties, they'll be, they'll be defenders, but now it's live. <laughs> it's a live game. So now, Meline, all you're going to do, the only stipulation is the ball has to go to the centre forward first for us to play. Okay? So now, can you change your runs? Can you go at this back four? You, as, as a back four, you're only alive when Meline plays the ball back. Okay. Usually I have two poles, but I've put the poles on the ground over there. This is your starting position. Let's put your starting position about there. Right here. Hey, can you just, can you just grab me here, pole? So, <laughs> I usually put a marker just to know where the reset is, so that there are there is space in behind the back four for them to play to make runs in. Okay, so play whatever you see, play Malin, and then you're alive. Then you can do your runs. Go, play. Yep. Uh -huh. Okay. Offside. Uh, I think I'll see it. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's do one more. Let's put Stanley as the centre forward, back four, set back up where you need to be. So, like you said, whatever you've worked on when it's stationary, you can now tell them, okay, what we worked on in here now, what can we implement here? So, what was the one movement I said that we need to try and implement? Forward. 
Checking. And then making so, so and then going to can you play the ball to Stanley? Stanley, can you play the ball back? Can you now peel away wide? And can we drag, drag in play? And then can you make the run in behind Molly? And diagonally across there. Then can we play him when he's on side? <laughs> you understand? <know what's> <coughs> can we try and do that? So it's a little bit harder. Ready? We're going in, play. In, in, go on in, drag away, drag away, drag away. Can we go in behind? There. Oh, good defending Molly. Nothing's getting past Molly there. So. <laughs> So it's, un it's, un it's making sure they understand their movements. What did I say our runs typically are right now in the game? Great, everything's really parallel. So usually in a game what we will see is this. Malin have the ball. Malin just dribble forward. Stanley just runs straight back. Defenders run with him. That's what we see in the game. And freeze. How often do we see that? That's exactly what we see. And then, so wait, Malin, just stand there with the ball. And then just hit TS, kick it towards TS. Oh, geez. There's the shot. And that's what happens. And then we lose possession. Mm -hmm. So it's the end. this is where you're trying to encourage your centre forwards or your players in an attacking area to make it run and to pull and drag away. But remember, you may be focusing on one player, but you can. Sh I mean, but you've got to understand that your players, especially in the final third, have to be free flowing. Can't just say, standing from now on, I want you to stay as a centre forward. Because now he's stuck there and he doesn't understand the game. So then make sure you understand that when we're attacking, they can go like that, but you want them to freely move. You want them to drag and pull that back four, spread them out for us to have gaps to play. You understand? Now you can come in now. That was my 20 minutes. here because then you can do the free flowing game as you have the attackers come out, the defenders come out, they have to set themselves and then we play, then it's a bigger game. You know what I'm and then all of a sudden now, rather than just being static with the mannequins and then the defenders here, then it becomes the final phase of a live game of us being able to play. So you can do different, different ways of keeping the ball centrally because these runs are really quite central in between the box. Cone them up. You can cone the field. So yeah, we want you to play the full field, but typically we want those runs. Can we now drag them in and go those runs a little bit more direct centrally as well? You can change it. If, it's, if that's not what you want in your, your forwards or your attacking players to do, you want the ball to go out wide and in, take that take away and tell them, okay, I want you to go down the line and drive down the line and deliver. So you can change it to what your philosophy is on what your players are doing. So don't think that it needs to be stuck like this. Um, and like I said, that was pretty basic for the different runs and stuff like that. And you can you can change the drill to work on overlapping and underlapping runs. Player drives out the mannequin, somebody getting around the mannequin to do underlapping or overlapping run. You can change that. And you can also implement that wider on the field if you're trying to get your outside backs higher. So different pieces hopefully you can use those different pieces in your sessions or in your sessions in the spring or in your high school sessions that will help you and that's the biggest one that's all i have